we must overcome our low insecurity our poor self-esteem must be overcome if we are to become agents of the vision of God in our generation people who have low self-esteem are people who drive it's like driving your car on an e-brake it will squeak you will drive too slow you will eventually destroy your car and you will not get somewhere as you're supposed to get if you are driving an e-brake anytime we live with a very small narrow thinking just about me me myself and i what that does is it limits the flow of god's vision and limits the flow of god's grace in our lives god is very big and he wants to show big through you and through me are we gonna let him can somebody say amen? amen you know i heard a story of when one little uh, farmer who went hunting and he found eagle eggs and these were really big size eggs and he took them from the nest illegally brought them home to his barn where the chickens were and this big egg fit perfectly in the nest with the other chicken eggs and when this big egg and eaglet come came out of this egg and the chickens came out of other eggs and the eaglet was a little bit bigger than the chickens but it fit right into the barn and the little eagle eaglet grew up with the chicken it learned how to talk like a chicken eat like a chicken walk like a chicken sleep like a chicken and think like a chicken until one day an eagle came to the barn and said you're not a chicken and the little chickens looked at the little eaglet and says yes he is we grew up together we came out of the same hospital we gave him a name he's just like us but an eagle looked at the eaglet and says you're not a chicken just because You've been with a chicken, you live like a chicken, you eat like a chicken and think like a chicken. That doesn't mean you're a chicken. He says because chickens, they are entrapped by the ground. But something inside of you tells you that there is more than just walking on the ground that you're walking in. That these wings are meant to carry you instead of you carrying them. And he took this little eaglet on the side of the cliff and he pushed him off the cliff. And that's when a little chicken behind the eaglet said, oh my goodness, our friend is dying. Our friend is dying he's not gonna make it and yes he was dying because he never opened his wings and so he started going down and he says that's it I am dying I knew I was not an eagle I was a chicken but then something clicked I'm gonna spread these instead of covering them and he started to spread his wings and right before he fit, hit the ground he mastered a very small art of what makes an eagle an eagle but he spread his wings and he never came back to the chicken house where he grew up in I want to tell you something today maybe you grew up all your life believing you're a chicken maybe you grew up all your life being defined by your past defined by your trauma and defined by what people said about you maybe like a chicken you were trapped to the ground trapped to certain events and to certain characteristics your appearance all your life but I want to tell you because of Jesus Christ God comes to you like he came to Gideon and he tells you today listen you may live like a chicken you may think like you may act like a chicken and you may see all the chicken around you but listen you are an eagle you are made in the image and likeness of God you may have never soared in life before maybe you've never seen yourself in any other light before but listen there is a God in heaven and he made you he created you and he has a plan for your life and it's bigger than what you're living in today When, I, my, when my family when our family immigrated to the United States I was 13 years of age and I remember for 13 years I was a good boy a Christian boy I went to church we never did any big sins in Ukraine we didn't have a TV we didn't even have a telephone the only thing that we were allowed to do is play soccer and you couldn't do much sin with playing soccer we were Christian good people but I grew up always believing because of my physical appearance and because never been given an opportunity I always grew up believing that I was nobody and that God cannot use a person like me I was very shy of people and those of you who knew me from before the person that I am now I was extremely extremely shy I had the shyness times three on steroids very shy of people I was very insecure about myself I always believed that somebody who looked at me always had a bad opinion about me and the funny part is I was always right because when I would meet with them I was so awkward that I knew people felt that awkwardness and they would distance themselves from me and my pastor he would sit me down in the van and we would go about doing some things that they would do some either construction or some things in the church remodeling and I remember it like yesterday I was just like this poor little chicken sitting over there and my pastor kept telling me he says God is going to use you 
and I didn't want to say anything back because I knew that I'm going to provoke him and he's going to say more so I kept it quiet but I was like in the back of my mind I was like he doesn't know who he's talking to I don't have speaking abilities I'm scared of people I am shy I grew up believing that I was worthless and nobody and here is a man who says you're an eagle God can use you God needs people and he can use anybody he doesn't have much people so he'll use you and pastor kept telling me telling me telling me and honestly years later somehow that broke through into my spirit and living 30 years like a chicken I finally dared and tried maybe I am not a chicken and I'm gladly to announce today I'm not a chicken I'm an eagle and so are you your mistakes your past your all the things you went through they should remind you that there is a God but they should never define you that you don't have no future everything you went through should remind you that you've been hurt but it should never define you that you will be always like this failure is an event it's not a person failure is what happens it's not who you are and you have to be a person like Gideon he's over there insecure hiding from his enemies and God comes on the side as though ignores everything that Gideon is going through and says Gideon you're a mighty man of valor and Gideon looks at God and says God did you know that I'm threshing weed in a wine press wine press is where you're supposed to thresh grapes you know why I'm doing that God because I am scared I'm a coward I am the last coward you met in the whole land of Israel and God comes to him and says you're a mighty man of valor God will never endorse your insecurities he will always endorse his word he will always endorse revelation and your choice and my choice is this do I hold on to my fears insecurities or do I hold on to God's revelation spread my wings and see maybe perhaps what God says is true big visions will always get stopped in little people let's enlarge ourselves to the vision size God has by enlarging our view of ourselves to the size of God can somebody say amen